All right, when we're playing round two. And yeah, this one's probably a keep, just because, again, long to discover is good on the plane. Got some more lands, but... I think it's... be pretty greedy, Morgan here. And if we do draw lands, we have, like, an incredible curve. No tree drop, please, from our opponent. Okay, we do have tree drop, fair enough. Um, oh, although we can actually just play Thriving Rhino and put energy on our on our cub. He doesn't have mana up to give this death search. So that's a thing. Our curve is going to be really nice well because we drew that, the extra forest. Um, so we need to draw some, we're going to need to draw some planes at some point in this game. We don't have any white cards in hand, so it's not too bad. I should probably have um, attacked before putting the engine on just in case my opponent didn't read Longfuss Cub properly and didn't realise we could make it a 3 free, But it's a quite unlikely that that would happen. Okay, um, I think we just want to go ahead and play f Snare Fopter here. We could possibly leave the Long Tusk Cub back here just because, um, you know, it's significantly more, more valuable than this Thriving Rhino and he kind of does have to block something here. And then we can attack with this a 4 4 next turn when he presumably won't have a death touch out. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I won't put counters on the Rhino either. It's just that if he, um, you know, if he doesn't trade off the Cobra here, then he has to leave up a green again next turn, which would be very awkward. So I kind of like putting him in that awkward situation. Yeah, it's just going to trade off. That's pretty good for us. Creeping mold, sure. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and make this 4-4 four four now. Ooh, fantastic tiger. Um, we could just get him for five here then, I guess. Let's go ahead and do that. So we get the energy back from the cub anyway. We have just curved out like super well in all of our games, basically. Okay, trade wins, that's pretty good. Bouncing his own puzzle lot as well. Okay, I think we want to go ahead and pay energy here and just uh, put him to three. Seems pretty hard for him to come back from there. I think we'll make a servo here. Yeah, I'll put into scoops. Okay, care about any of these things? It's possible we just don't want Fumigate, you know, in these matchups. Like, our opponent's deck seems so much slower. Like, the, and the great thing about Fumigate is it's good in your bad draws. And I guess we're winning with our good draws anyway, so maybe that's that's worth it. What would we bring in? Like, a Herald of Affair? Or a pressure Point, maybe? Yeah, I think I'd probably do, like, do like including the Fumigate. 
Let me know what you think, though. I could I can definitely see arguments both ways. Okay, there's some mulligan, obviously. Um, <laughs> this is really bad. Um, I guess we have to keep it. Like, just because it has two lands and we have a scry. It is really bad, though. So no, it's so bad going to five and your opponent's on seven. I thought you meant to keep this. Put that on the bottom. Oh, plain, that's not exactly what we wanted. We need to draw a forest and some creatures soon. Okay, sky skiff, sure. Yeah, that would be great if we could cast it. Ooh, okay, we might be in trouble here. Oh, really? More planes? Play a vehicle which doesn't do anything. One slightly annoying thing about vehicles, it stops your F8 key working properly. Because you could crew your vehicle with an imaginary creature which doesn't exist. So in theory, you don't have no possible play. Another double green card. Uh, let's just run out with other vehicle, I guess. It is possible we're playing too many vehicles, but um, we have a lot of creatures in our deck. I think it's probably fine. Can't remember if we went 9 8 or 10 7 with lands in the end. It's not working for us, whatever it is. Um, okay, let's play this bird. It does block most of his stuff quite nicely. It's just not likely to be enough. I mean, here's a situation where if we draw a Fumigate, we're like legitimately back in the game if we... And then just like draw a forest. Okay, Cobra, sure. Nope, more green cards. So here we can start attacking with the Cobra, I guess. And I guess if we attach like just the Cobra, we can trade off for one of the vehicles. I think we do that. Very happy to trade a vehicle which isn't doing anything for a car at this point. Hey, green sauce, okay. Um, so we could nature's way something here, I guess the ephemeral voyager, or alternatively we can play this thriving rhino. I think killing one of the flyers probably makes more sense though. I think it's kind of close. Um, 
Um, there's an argument for saving nature's way of effect, which you can't otherwise deal with, but... The thing is, otherwise, we're just so dead if we can deal with our Harrier, so... Let's go ahead and get rid of one of the flyers while we can. And there's also just quite a lot of value in using this while he's tapped out. Okay, cruise in response. Sure, we weren't going to attack anyway. Kills our green sauce, nice. Oh, that's quite brutal. Jeez, he has 10 energy, I didn't realise he had that much. Okay, I better guess that's slightly better than a normal green card. Just crew our train quite nicely. We're just waiting for him to find a way to deal with this, this bird though, really. I'm surprised we're still in this game. Nope, more green cards. This actually just doesn't do very much with this, um... Guy per guide in the in play. Really just screws the train. Jeez. I can't remember if we're running seven or eight planes. We don't have many in our left in our deck either way. Yeah, it's probably pretty bad news for us. Before he just rumbles with that now and trades it off for our train. Well, next turn. That is summoning sick. I guess maybe as nature's way or something. No, just crewing it for fun of it. Okay. Okay, that's something. Um, so the question is, do we want to put the counter on it? If we put the counter on it, it blocks sky skiff. Um, which is obviously a bit better if he does find a way to deal with our bird. But it still doesn't block this p foul. Mm, it's kind of close. Actually, I think, yeah, we should put the counter on it because he has this guy per guide. Um, so if we don't, he can just make his stuff so it can't be blocked by this anyway. By this or the servo. So it's better to just make a free powered creature. this hunt for week. Yeah, that's pretty bad for us. Um, I guess we crew our vehicle in response. It makes that hard to block. Yeah, we can still trade it for this. I'm not sure if we want to though, because this trades for a train quite nicely. On the other hand, what are we actually doing? Otherwise, we're taking three here. That doesn't seem good. Okay, I just guess we just trade. <laughs> 
I think we probably just stay next turn either way. Yeah, we're pretty dead. May as well make him play it out, I guess. Okay, so we just got really cold screwed there. Um, I guess we are running um, nine and eight. Also, if you mind so many vehicles, I think we probably don't want this fumigate. So this is very possible to like sweep the board and still be behind on board, which kind of sucks. So what do we want instead? Just another cobra, probably. It's pretty good against vehicles. What we really need is like more ways to deal with flyers, but we don't really have that. Oh, I guess we can bring in takedown actually. It's probably pretty good here, right? Let's just bring in a takedown. Okay. And then if we're boarding out fumigate, we definitely board out planes. Okay. Let's try this. Yes, we would like to play first. And this sound seems pretty good. Play turn two cub again, which is pretty strong. Minister of Inquiries. You mill me, right? That doesn't seem very good, okay. Okay, Hawk's decent draw. So just run out the cub here. Okay, Skyscape. So I guess he cruise that and then we can just take down the Skyscape, which is nice. Oh, this is a sorcery? Oh, shoot. I really thought this was an instant. Okay, that's really bad. Um, I may have just completely thrown this game. Um, how can we still win? Well, a long tusk cub is getting eaten. There's nothing we can do about that now. That was quite a f*** up. Free release problems, eh? Well, I'm glad I realised that before the GP. That would have been embarrassing. Um, so do we want to kill this, or do we want to and play the Hawk, or do we want to play this train? And if we just play the train, we don't actually have anything we can create with next turn, so let's play the Hawk. Oh well. Not knowing what the cards do is kind of the tradition of pre-release, I guess. Thriving Rhino, you say? Yeah, we're in pretty bad shape. Hmm. Do we want to get in for one with a hawk, or do we want to block this Minister of Inquiries? I guess we want to save ourselves one damage, right? So we're definitely behind. I'm sure if he's actually planning on trying to mill me out here. 
guess we'll see, depending on if he wants for a counter on his Rhino. He does. Okay, nice. Um, I think let's play with Tiger here. Hmm. Although it's a little awkward for um, this. And if it's because he only has one energy left, so unless he can make more energy, this can trade for the Rhino next turn. Then we can attack with the Tiger. Let's get him for one here. This really shouldn't be in our deck as a sorcery either. Um... Oh, that would have been good draws. Oh well. Tight for the unnatural, sure. Yeah, it makes it very awkward trying to kill a Sky Skiff with Takedown. So we get the energy from the puzzle mode, right? I guess we take four here then. And we will pay the energy. No, we won't pay the energy for Hawk. We will pay the energy for Tiger. Looks like we possibly have to try and race this right now. Ugh, that's really bad for us. Okay, well I guess there goes the racing plan. Okay, what's what's the new plan then? Some very risky double blocks, maybe? I mean, one option I guess is to... Um, I mean, we can hit him for like 9 this turn. And then chump with the servo. And hit him for... Well, we don't have enough energy to do that, is the only thing. Like, we can in fact only hit him for... And if we can hit him for 8 this turn, down to 11. Play this, chump for Rhino, take 5. Chump with a servo, that is. Then hit him for... 8, 9, 10. And we're one shot. So that doesn't seem good. Okay, so I guess we're on the risky double blocks plan. Um, so those risky double blocks would probably be of the form of block Tiger on Stomper. And then... Like double block Pioneer and Harrier on this Rhino. Oh, plus for servo actually, because you can make the rhino uh, a 5 6 by cracking the puzzle knot. Okay. Well, I don't think we win the other way, so let's try this way. I mean, maybe there's a middle ground here, right? Where we um, just like get him for like 4 this turn block the tiger on the stomper and try and just keep chumping this rhino. You know, that's probably actually better. There's so much we can go wrong with that double block. So let's just hit him for four here.
I mean, maybe even take one hit from the rhino. See if he wants to put a counter on it. Okay, that kind of tells me he probably has a trick. He's just hanging with that. The thing is, though, double blocking is really awkward because if he doesn't have a trick, he can then just kill our pioneer and our tiger. So I think we just kind of have to see what's coming. Okay, no, no trick in combat. Just take for one. Okay, and there's a sky whale. We draw lands. Um. I don't really understand why I didn't attack with this. I guess just try and trade off Harrier for for the Sky Whale. Huh, no attacks at all, okay. Flooding out a little, unfortunately. He hit really well when he milled us. Um, he milled like a lot of gas. Ooh, that's bad for us. Jeez, okay. Yeah, I don't think we're winning this game. Especially not if we just draw lands. I think this card is really bad. Like, it's just done literally nothing this game. And this is a game where he's, like, made a bunch of energy and things have in theory gone right for it. And it's just had absolutely zero effect. I mean, like, he'd probably win with it if he just, like, doesn't attack, but he could also win by attacking, so that doesn't really mean anything. Okay, let's just attack with a snap opter, I guess. I have no idea if we could have won this game if we, um, if I hadn't misread takedown, probably. Okay, kills our Fopter. Just run out of right now. Like, he could just be attacking us with these creatures at this point. I think he just wants to win with his minister, probably. Which he can, that's fine. Deadlock trap, what's this do? Oh, it taps stuff down. Yeah, I think he's got this. Really don't know why he isn't attacking, but whatever. Mm, do we even want to play this out? I don't think that's much point. May as well, I suppose. Let's see if we can't attack him a bit.
Okay. Well, that was a frustrating game. Um, yeah, could possibly have won if I hadn't misplayed. It's been close, I think. Had a pretty good draw. Anywho, um, this is a Swiss, a Swiss league. So I'll see you back for round three. Thank you.